So in this video, you are going to learn how you can use a pendulum in your 5D Ascension journey and own your power. My name is Aloise Surfleet Middleton. I'm the host of the Dharma Life podcast and the creator of the Dharma Life Academy. And every week I am bringing you a video to help you build a 5D life in alignment with your soul. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe and ring the bell. I also interview amazing thought leaders on their ascension journeys, on their awakening stories, and on how you can create a 5D life in alignment with your soul. So how and why you should have a pendulum. In this video, you're going to learn how to use a pendulum, why you need a pendulum, and how a pendulum can speed up your 5D ascension journey. I first got into using pendulums a few years ago when I started to learn how to access the Akashic Records. And since then, this little thing has become my best friend. And I'm not even joking. My husband will tell you, I have these things all over the house. I have them by my bed. I have them in the living room. I have them in a pot on my desk. I use them all the time. And they're a fantastic tool to help you connect with your higher self and make decisions. So let me teach you, first of all, how you can use a pendulum. I'd love to know in the comments if you're listening to this, maybe you've already got one. Tell me in the comments if you already use a pendulum and how you use it so we can help others grow. Remember, the more you awaken, your job is to awaken others. Now, if you haven't used a pendulum, I'm going to show you how, first of all, you use it. So you need to be grounded. You need to be connected in mind, body and spirit. So to be grounded, first of all, you have to make sure that you are have your feet flat on the floor. Ideally, um, no shoes on definitely no rubber shoes on and you have to imagine that you've got roots of the trees coming out through the bottom of your feet pulling you down grounding you this is earthing you this is making you feel stable now to connect to your higher self i want you to imagine that you've got energy coming in through the top of your head in through your crown chakra white light coming in through your crown chakra down into your third eye down into your stomach Another way to do this is imagine that you are wearing a witch's hat. So just take a moment now to do it with me. Imagine you're wearing a witch's hat, pointed black witch's hat, and send your energy up to the top of the point on the witch's hat. That will balance your left and right brain hemispheres and help you get a better connection to your higher self. Really simple top tip. So how do you get a yes or no from your pendulum? How do you set or program your pendulum? So when you get one, hold it in your hand. Uh, I tend to hold the ball in between my fingers. And the simplest way to do this is to just say your name. So if you say your name, my name is Aloise. You can see my pendulum started moving already and it's going backwards and forwards. So backwards and forwards is my yes and then if I say my husband's name my name is Matt and you see it's going left and right which is no so that's the simplest quickest and easiest way that you can set your pendulum and that will give you what is yes for you and what is no for you and everybody's yes is different it's really interesting some people go the opposite direction. Some people spin in circles. So you need to establish the yes and no with your pendulum. You need to set and program your own pendulum. And once you've done that, you then can use your pendulum for all sorts of fun and games. A word of warning, though, just so you can learn from my mistakes. Now, often, once we start using our pendulum, we want to use it for everything. But I've really found that you can't use it for fortune telling. So what do I mean by that? Well, by all means, use the pendulum to ask your higher self questions that are in um, alignment with your highest path and purpose. So things that are going to help you 
stay aligned to your highest path and purpose. If you try and fortune tell, so that would mean, will, will my job, will my friend get a job? Chances are you'll get a yes and you'll tell your friend and your friend will say, oh, I didn't get the job because your pendulum is not there to fortune tell. It is there to help you and guide you and keep you connected on your ascension journey. So by all means, you'll probably try it at some stage. All of us do. But just learn from my mistakes. It's just not a good use of your energy. But what can you use it for? Well, you can definitely use it for uh, trying to make decisions about what you should do. So often at the beginning of the day, I will ask my pendulum, where should I focus my energy and attention? And then I'll give it options. So, for example, uh, it's all about the question you ask. It's very important, the question you ask. The quality of your questions results the quality of your answer because it only gives you a yes or no. So, uh, for example, is recording this YouTube video the best thing I could do today for my highest path and purpose? And I'm getting a yes. And I know that already because I did this exercise before I came on this YouTube video. (laughs) But that gives you an idea of how I would use the pendulum to focus my energy, focus my attention, keep myself on my right path of action to make sure that I'm doing what I need to be doing. I also use it to make decisions. Um, Should I invest in this program? Should I join this community? Should I, um, I'm trying to think of other things. Uh, You can use it for food, what uh, what oil to use. There's all sorts of weird and wonderful things that you can do. Now you can only get a yes or no question or sorry, yes or no answer from a pendulum, but you can do things like um, dousing uh, grids, and stuff if you want to um, look at more options. So the world of pendulum uh, healing is incredible. And I would really recommend you to start to look into it and get into it and just start to play around with a pendulum. Like it does become your best friend. They're so good. They're so fun. They're so useful. Set the intention before you ask a question that you're connecting to your higher self and you will get answers that you never dreamed. So I would like to also invite you, we are going to be um, doing pendulum healing within my Master Your Money Mind program that's going to be opening up in January. So the Dharma Life community uh, is a community that I run. We've just been going through my signature program, the Do Your Dharma program, which is all about uncovering your highest path and purpose and how to stay in alignment. And we're going to be uh, going into the Master Your Money Mind program. I'm going to be running a free challenge Um, So by all means, sign up below um, on the waiting list for the Dharma Life Academy and you'll get to know about the challenge. But essentially why I tell you that is because we use pendulum healing within the Master Your Money Mind program to heal and transmute money blocks with that we have. Everything is energy and you can use pendulums to transmute lower level negative energy. And I'd love to invite you to have a listen to the interview that I did with Eric Hunter. Uh, It came out last Friday, if you haven't already listened to it, because there's so many amazing things that you can do with a pendulum and they're so simple, it will blow your mind. So thank you for watching. I really hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments if you already use a pendulum, how you use it. And again, we will see you next week with another amazing interview and another amazing video. Thank you so much for listening to the Dharma Life podcast. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Please come over and say hello on my Instagram, our Facebook group. And also, please let me know what you thought. So if you are listening, please take a screenshot of the podcast that you are listening to tag me on Instagram and I will reshare your post and please let me know what it is that you got out of today's episode. Remember when we do our Dharma we are happier, healthier, we live longer and we have a deep sense of unshakable inner peace.